Hello students, Samagra Shiksha Siddhi Pet presents Our World Through English Class 7 Unit 5 Page 83 See Reading Sindabad the Sailor I bought a substantial stock of goods to trade and sailed on a ship with a number of my merchant friends. We placed ourselves in the care of Allah and set off. Soon we reached an island. We decided to go ashore. My friends went to gather fruits and flowers, but I took my food packet to a place in the shade. I had a good meal and lay down to sleep under the trees. I don't know how long I slept, but when I woke and looked out to see, the ship had gone. I was all alone, not knowing what to do. I climbed up to the top of a tall tree and looked over the island on all sides. In the distance, I could see something white and decided to find out what it was. Soon, I came to what seemed like a huge white ball. When I touched it, it felt very smooth. It was so high that I could not see the top of it. And it was more than 50 paces round. There was no door on any side and it was too smooth to climb. Suddenly, the sky above me became dark as if a huge cloud was covering it. Looking up, I saw that the darkness was caused by the shadow of a huge bird that was flying towards me. I had often heard sailors talk of a great and wonderful bird called a rock. This must be a rock, I thought, and this huge ball must be its egg. Page 84 The bird came nearer and sat on its egg. I soon crept close to the egg. Near me was one of the bird's legs, which was as big as a tree. I decided to tie myself to the leg of this bird with my turban so that when it flew away from the island, it would carry me with it. At daybreak, the bird flew up so high that I was carried out of sight of the island. Then it came down again so fast that I lost my senses. When I found myself on the ground, I quickly untied the turban. The bird caught up a snake and flew away. This time, I found myself surrounded on all sides by immense mountains that seemed to reach above the clouds. The sides of the valley looked so steep that there was no possibility of climbing them. When I began to look around the valley, I found that there were large diamonds lying on the ground. I was excited to find such riches lying around me. Then I saw something else 
that made me very frightened. All around the valley there were huge serpents, some of them big enough to even eat an elephant. These came out of their holes at nightfall. During the day, I suppose, they hid themselves from the rocks. I found a small cave where I decided to spend the night. At the entrance, I put a large stone to protect myself from the serpents. But the noise of their hissing outside made sleep impossible. I was glad that they went to their holes as daylight came on and I was able to come out again. But I was still frightened. In fact, I found myself walking upon diamonds without a thought of their value. At last, being very tired, I decided to eat a little of my food and then to have a short sleep in the sun. I was suddenly awakened by something which fell near me. I sat up and found that it was a huge piece of raw meat. At the same time, more pieces fell down from the rocks above the valley. I had heard stories in the past about this valley of diamonds, but had not believed them. Now I saw with my own eyes what the local merchants did to obtain the jewels. They used huge eagles to carry up the diamonds for them. When the eagles have young ones in their nests among the rocks, they fly down into the valley to get food for them. So, the merchants would throw down large pieces of raw meat. The diamonds stick to the meat and in this way, get carried to the eagle's nests. Page 85 Each merchant has his own nest and considers its jewels his. The idea came to me that I too could use these eagles. I myself could be lifted up from this deep valley and thus escape from it. The eagles were so big and strong that my weight would seem little. First, I collected a number of large diamonds. These I put in my valet and tied the valet to my waist. Next, I tied one of the large pieces of meat to the middle of my back with my turban. I then lay down with my face to the ground and waited there. There was the sound of a huge wings around me. Then I felt myself lifted up and carried to the top of the rocky walls of the valley. Soon I was in one of the nests. The merchants were surprised to see me there and when they heard my story, they helped me to find a ship to go home. When I got back to Baghdad, I was a very wealthy man. I gave large amounts of money to the poor and lived peacefully in my own home.